phenothiazine drugs block the action of dopamine, thereby lessening schizophrenic symptoms. However, Harazax, whoever his name is, whoever you pronounce that, H-A-R-A-C-Z, 1982, found that this applies only to one small subgroup of schizophrenics, suggesting that not all produce excess dopamine. This would serve to reinforce the view that schizophrenics are not all suffering from the same disorder. And yet all schizophrenics are forced to take this drug by law. People. There are six specific challenges to psychiatry as a profession. And I have grouped them into three from inside and three from outside, so to say. From inside, there is increasingly doubt about how valid our diagnosis and our classification really are. We need a revolution to go back to where we were in the 1960s. Um, the DSM-4 is this big, the DSM-5 will be this big, and the, it's garbage. The tragedy of this illness is it begins at a young age and it lasts for a lifetime. I suffered from schizophrenia for over 15 years and I've recovered. I'm medication free and symptom free. Um, quite a few therapies are being challenged in their validity. So this is especially true in pharmacotherapy. People say, this medication isn't working, it's just making me feel ill. And they keep looking at it saying, no it's not, it's making you feel better. There was selective publishing in antidepressant trials, for example, that uh, studies with positive results were more often published than those with negative results. And this has been made public worldwide, also in the general press, and people are somehow losing confidence in our treatments. Now, before the psychiatric team got hold of me, I was a staff nurse. Now, you've dragged me down the ladder of society as far as I can go. We are still regarded as a somehow strange profession, also from other medical doctors. I never realised um, what superior intelligence I possessed until I became a mental health patient. And it's only when you become a mental health patient and you start looking at the nurses and the psychiatrists and everything, and you think, what's wrong with them? They don't understand English. Patients and family members are increasingly criticizing psychiatrists. Psychiatry never seems to accept the traumatic events behind schizophrenia and bipolar and such illnesses. I just don't understand why. We can't just mask the problems with medication and move on like that. We have to deal with them in our lives. We have to study what happened, accept the trauma for what it was and move on. Now once the trauma is put into its real context and you grow up emotionally, having been frozen at two or six or whatever the infant age is, the symptoms are cured. They go a hundred percent and that applies to bipolar, it applies to delusions, hallucinations, psychosis, um, personality disorders by the bucket load. The image of psychiatry in the public is not as good as some of us might think. 
Oh, stop it now. Come on, I've had enough. That it's not a lifelong disorder, that you're not stuck with it and screwed over if you get schizophrenia. And that the hopeless message that society tells and the mental health system tells and that the media tells is just not true. I'm a therapist. I've worked with a lot of people with schizophrenia. I've seen several get well. And I've also seen some people not get well. And I've wondered, why don't they get well? And one of the main reasons is that they're stuck into themselves believing everything that the mental health system and everything that their psychiatrist and past therapists and their families and the media and all the psychology books they've read have told them that they can't get well. I know it's a lie. Here is a list of the drugs that sold the best in medicine uh, two years ago. And as of then, this group of drugs was worth $664 billion per annum. The, this will have increased the year afterwards to a figure greater than the figure uh, which is the bailout for the US economy. The antidepressants and the statins on their own, well actually the, uh, actually the psychotropic drugs uh, and actually the statins on their own, come to more than the entire cost of the NHS in the UK. I don't think the adverts are the problem. Yes, I... A, agree with you that adverts are a problem, but actually at the moment the main function of the adverts for the industry is so that you look at them and you think that's the problem, when in actual fact the problem is their control of the clinical trials. Now, but what about the cost of advertising? The cost of the adverts is peanuts compared to the cost of, of actually uh, the control trials. Peanuts. This is a talk about the failure of medicine, how people like me have failed you. <laughs> <laughs>